Israelis are fairly united in their determination to defeat the enemies that they are encountering, not just Hamas in Gaza, but also Hezbollah in the north. And when we're talking about UN Security Council resolutions, it's worth remembering 1701, which actually requires Hezbollah forces to be north of the Litani River in Lebanon. They're not. And as a consequence, the buffer zone that's meant to keep Israel safe in southern Lebanon has actually been moved into Israel. So Israel, in that respect, has created its own buffer zone, evacuating thousands of its residents from northern Israel. So there is this threat in all areas. The Security Council didn't mention anything about that today. Uh, and more broadly, I think if we think about Rafah, for example, Israel's determination to go into Rafah, you said that America doesn't want them to. So far, they haven't. And actually, what's happened is... Well, they've very, got a summoned... What's very interesting uh, and about it... And asked them to, that, to give is, a plan. They're indeed. saying there is no plan. Well, there, uh, from my understanding is that there is a plan, but we haven't got the details of it. But what's interesting, I think, that's happened there is that in all that time they've talked about it... What Hamas did, of course, is move all their troops back north. And Israel has recently been engaged in activities in the Al-Shifa hospital in the north, which you'll remember they actually went into some time ago. They've arrested something like 500 Hamas terrorists in the Al-Shifa hospital, from whom they'll be getting excellent intelligence now, partly as a result of this back and forth over whether they're going into Rafah. If well, the I mean, Hamas forces were in Rafah, they knew where to but, leave. But, but you know, Jonathan, you say that this operation from a military perspective, is a success. It's, that's not what is being said globally, and that's why there is this pressure for, for Israel to stop. Do you think that they had another route or way of, of doing this to, well, so to be able to come I, out? I mean, as I, as I said last time I was in this studio with you, Yalda, uh, people who criticise the country uh, for what it's doing often don't suggest a better alternative. And I think the United States is one of those critics that hasn't suggested something better. But I do think that there is tighter coordination between the US and Israel than some would believe. And some of this is intentional. I, I'm not saying it's all intentional. There's certainly a rift at the moment. But having managed to evacuate terrorists from Rafah back into the Al-Shifa hospital and to capture them and interrogate them from there, Israel has carried out a military a strategic victory. The problem is, you're right, <laughs> that if they're having military success, they're not necessarily translating it into strategic success so far in properly defeating Hamas.